Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. We are going for the special chest uh, that we saw last time. Oh, something at the foot of the tree. Your Majesty, something glitters and glimmers atop this cliff. A few brave souls are prepared to scale it. Perhaps they'll find something of value. Perhaps they'll break their legs. Oh, two dudes for one piece of cart? Holy crap. Oh. I know which one that is, but I don't know what, what it does in this uh, Thronebreaker, but I know it from, uh, the, well, the online card game. Okay. Uh, let's just find another road. I don't, I don't care too much about that wood. Wait, no excuses. Fuck, I'm not gonna leave the, the, the chest here. This, this game clearly doesn't know me. Oh sh... Great. We got an avatar. Make your way through the molder wood. Alright, sure. What else we have? Hmm... Gonna go... Yeah. Well, we're going to check out that fishing village. It looks just like... The one would Geralt would find. They have a notice board and everything. Makes a lot of sense. It's a pretty convenient way to, uh, oh, to share some in info, relevant info. It's not like a newspaper, but like, yeah, it's kind of good. <clears throat> Milady, look, the raven. It has something tied around its talon. Some sort of letter addressed to our enemy, perhaps. Likely worth a look, I'd say. For one gold, we got a piece of paper. I'm not taking that. Well, I'll just take it. Oh, no way! Two huts? Like, uh, what is that? I suppose those are trees. I don't know what that is. It could be anybody. It could be anything. Sacks of potatoes? Probably not something, uh... uh that should mark the location of uh, a map long term. Who knows? Maybe rocks. But why would you have big rocks in the middle of your yard? Like, I want to know that. Still, what the fuck? These drawings are pathetic. Oh, maybe a better mood for the soldiers. Uh, that would help. Aye, let's come join me! What do we have here? They're not speaking to me. Hi, bastards. Hey, Gramps. What about you? On the edge of the Moulderwood, there stood a small village, Crumhorn. The hamlet was surrounded by a high palisade while the villagers carried makeshift weapons, flails, axes, and nail-studded planks. Life as the Scoyatel's neighbors was clearly not easy. While her men rested, Meave approached two of the villagers. They lowered their heads in respect and fidgeted nervously with their shirt hems. My lady, reckon you ought to know. Elves meeting traders in the woods at night. Buy swords, herbs. You don't say. I'm interested. Carry on. Rayla, who had overheard the conversation, twisted her mouth in a hateful scowl. Hawkers stink worse than vermin. Willing to help murderers for coin. Please, milady. We must find them and punish them. You, talk. Where do these meetings take place? The peasants looked at each other. One scratched his head, the other towed the sand. Finally, one of them blurted out... Could tell you, milady, yes, but uh, only for gold. How about for torture? Uh, you know what? I don't care about 50 gold. I see I'm dealing with shrewd men of trade. Fine. Your fee. Meave took a few coins from her pouch and tossed them on the ground. The peasants <laughs> dropped on all fours and started snatching the coins from the grass, ignoring the contemptuous gaze of the Queen's soldiers. If you're giving people money, why do you have to throw it on the ground? Me? What the hell, man? Uh, girl? <laughs> That's not okay. Them orcas wheel them goods to the old fishing hut north of here. Scoyatel come a-crawling from the woods, the first crow of the cockerel. The queen told her men to prepare to fight the Scoyatel and their abettors. Black Rayner sat on a fallen trunk and sharpened her sword. The grinding of stone on blade sounded a grim promise. 
Mm-hmm. There's your dirty gold. <laughs> Just throw it on the ground. Maybe I should pay people like that. But I would be a dick if I did that, no? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's appropriate, but if you really don't want to pay people, but you pay them anyway, and you kind of call it payment. It's not something I particularly want to do. Damn, beef. Alright, let's see what we got. Aww. Just nothing. A little bit of information, but there's really not much going on here. Wait, that's it? Is that it? Oh. You wanna talk to me? When two dogs fight, the third's sure to get the bone. Oh, that wisdom. Alright, so I guess I'll go now. You guys cool with that? Wait a second. Okay, some money. Yeah, I'm not really getting it. You guys are just like sitting on a big pile of money here. And you go like, oh my god, please give me some gold. What are you on about? Wait. Well, no, yeah, of course we're sending in dudes for a piece of... Trash. These, these map, these, these treasure maps are getting more and more descriptive. Ah, uh, thanks. I, I guess we're gonna watch out for rocks. Ah, <clears throat> um, any day now. What we have here? Oh, yes. So we going? Actually, that that was the the way to go. We had to do, make a, a a circle. Well, we didn't we didn't have to come here, but uh, that's fine. I would I would have wanted to come here anyway. And one we fancy man arrived at the hut the villagers claimed to be the meeting point for the Squiretel and the Hawkers. Torchlight flickered amidst the trees, and she heard the sound of hushed voices. Your Grace, whispered Rayla. They're in our grasp. We must act quickly if all the elves retreat into the woods. Sure, let's attack them. Worry not, Rayla, the Queen said, patting her on the back. I shan't let a chance like this slip. Attack! The Lyrians rushed out of the woods of the unsuspecting elves and merchants. Moments later, the sound of combat filled the dark wood. Petting Rayla on the back? What? That seems a little odd. I guess. What's next? Petting Rayla on the head? Hmm. Alright, just another... Uh, regular fight. I think we can do this. What? No. No, 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 no. Yes. No. No. No! That's, that's forfeit. Let's do it again. If, 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 it, if it's a bad hand, you just give up. That's it. Because it takes, it takes longer <laughs> to <laughs> uh, try and fail. Alright. That's not too bad, actually. Hawker scum! Oh come on. Special just casual racism. Just for you, love. Wait. Oh yeah. Hawkers are elves. Whenever a unit is summoned from the deck, give it free armor, gain one charge, and when this unit reaches three charges, spawn a random trinket in your hand. And set Charge count to zero. Whoa, no, Dimetium bomb. Wow, no, that's not good. We might lose. Can we just blow this crap up? This harvest will be So if we can somehow hands. blow up the hawk transport, that would be nice. Show me the coin Seems like the plan is just to play Lyrian Sightman on both rows. That's fine. Who cares about that? If only I could get some locks or something. Duan Yeah, that's a problematic. Maybe I am gonna play the Lyrian Sightman. It is pretty damn tempting. These suckers have a lot of points. But we also a little bit 
your sword and arm be one. Trying to avoid the Dimratium bomb. Defendvara! Okay. Let's go with the pikeman. In the back. That, that's okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. These are not gonna boost. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's go with that. Summon. That's annoying. So we just now need to focus on the biggest guy. And uh, Lyrian Arbalest. Give me a time. I don't know. The archer is strong, and we can't actually kill the archer. Fuck me. Wait. Is that charge to zero? But it. We have more guys out. Arbalest, your command. All right. Let's just hope that the archer can die. Come on, it's random. It's one unit on the first row. Reynard Lulu can get out somebody. It can be the Ar Arbalist. We can do 9 damage with it. Not exactly the best. It's pretty close for the Swordmaster. I shall not fail! If we can blow up these guys, that would be pretty sweet. So I think we might just play Black Rayla as a start. Then wait. I'll fight to my last breath. With the intention of uh Well it's kinda tricky because if he can get out a regiment drummer, that's technically better. Then we can go Reynard Dodo. And uh, just get like stupid amounts of points. Yeah, let's just go with that. I'm going with that. Fine. Uh, let's just go for maximum points. This this is a good deck. Oh, that's annoying. Oh my. Oh, seems like the Elven Archer prefers uh, close by units. Okay. Let's say we play the drummer. Army's a waste of time for one like me. But then we boost the Lyrian Sightman. Actually, maybe I should just play the Merlot. O okay. Merlot is pretty damn close. Being useful. So let's play the Merlot. Then we go Reynard. Uh, we're gonna get uh, two units. Just one anything. Uh, it's probably gonna be Arbalest or Lyrian Sightman. Th these are both awesome. Although it's not gonna be a, a long round now. Elves! What now? And when we play a Reynard, though, it's gonna take some damage. Which is not great. That means most likely he's gonna die. That's a big boy. Oh, my little day. Hmm. So if you play this, it's gonna get hit a couple times, and it's most likely gonna die. Oh, that's left, right, left. That's right. interesting. So I can get at every blitz unit. But the downside is, uh, well, I would need to sacrifice Gascon here because this guy is dying for sure, and we need to play Reynardo Dodo a little bit later. But Gascon gets played for nothing. <laughs> Wait, you're yeah, serious? yeah, yeah. He takes damage. That's quite expected, and because of that, the Swordmaster is gonna kill it. We're also gonna. Take 12 damage in the front. Heal an ally is not too valuable. And uh, the last row is full. This looks bad, but I got a pretty good swing. Coming up! Meef! Yeah. We're just overpowering the elves. 
Although, shutting down some cards would be pretty handy. Uh, like this 6 point value generator. <laughs> or just killing... Oh no! Oh, that's pretty sweet. This is Elven Land, Dwan, upon which your kind dies. Well, okay. Maybe we can save Gascon now. So, we play Reynardo though. Discipline shall bring us victory! Uh, then we just get at anything. In the front. Aye. If we get at the specific archer. I think it needs to be an archer. At least we are playing an archer. Whoa, fuck! No! I messed up! Ah, oh, come on, can't believe it. Alright, let's do that. But that's not even the best idea. But we can boost Gascon. Just to prevent him from dying. That's not bad. That's not what I wanted. Lyrian ba Banner should have moved. Looks like we're just gonna lose. Unless he has so many cards that he can't even fit it. Because he can't place one more card. But he can still... Yeah, I think we're just gonna lose here. Ultimately, it makes more sense coming. to play Illyria inside than in the, the front. While we still can. Yeah, this looks like a loss. Damn it. Elves own me. What? How am I supposed to shut down all those value generators? Yeah, like, I'm not sure what we are waiting for here. Let's just do a restart. What the fuck is this? I don't want to change my, my deck. I'm too lazy for that. No, no, no. No, no. We don't have Black Rayla. We don't have any... Hawker scum! Yeah, we got Black Rayla now. Got business for me. So, that's gonna be crazy good value. Hawker transport? I don't know. Uh, let's say we play in the front. And we're just gonna have one big to dude show. in the middle. Uh, because seems like his strategy. Special prize, just for you, love. We can't shut it down. And just for the sake of it, let's say we play the Aye. another Scythe there. Although I'm a little afraid of uh, running into Aye. his D bomb. I think for now. We're just gonna play another side man ah, me, and boost lady. the biggest one. Ah! Then we go Rivian Pikeman. The only problem Swords with I that. Swords I smile at. Weapons laugh to score. Defend Vara. Well, killing the archer would be awesome. So we play the Rivian Pikeman. Ours is not to reason why. And. This way, the Arbalest can do 8 damage. So, one random damage to the Elven Archer uh, would be huge. I shall not fail! So, we're gonna do that. To your command. I'm just praying on the one at the four now. Yeah. And that's gonna generate insane amount of value. Fine. Koyata unit murdered. So we can go Black Rayla and get at a drummer that can get at another drummer. I just go with Rayla. No, I, that's terrible. Oh fuck, I messed up. That was my my best to move. Help one or the other. Oh my god, I fucked up. But the fact that we killed the one elf, one unit, is huge. But sadly, Reynard is not that good now. Quick and painful this will be. Illyrian Merlot is gonna be more valuable. The only thing that can shut me down is his potential. The bomb. <laughs> All units to their base power, really. Oh, come on, game. 
So how many decks I'm supposed to build? And I'm, as far as I know, if you make a deck, then uh, I might need to look into it. Maybe we can make different decks, but this is kind of bullshit. Or just bullshit. We gotta make different decks. Okay. Well, Gascon is bad, and that's bad too. Harker scum. Okay, that's a bad deck. That's a bad hand. What is this crap? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Harker scum. No. I'm not gonna just play into our. Well, I'm not just gonna rely on RNG. I mostly have some access to some crap cards. Okay, maybe there's like maybe there's a an option Hawker here. Scum. Forfeit. Can I just no load last checkpoint? Can we make a card that uh, says "Holy shit, this is actually gonna help"? Because it seems like my cards are a little bit lagging behind. Maybe. I'm gonna, well, first of all, this Stray Slinger is like, trash, but, alright, fine. If anything, I can just do some damage. After two turns and turn start, boost self by the power of unit on the right, then move to the up. no, it's trash. I th I'm pretty sure that I already went through all the cards here, and I concluded that they are garbage. Perhaps with the exception of the new card. Up to 15. Damage the highest unit on the battlefield by up to 15, then boost the lowest unit by the amount of damage. So that could be a 30 point swing. But that damages the highest unit on the battlefield, and I'm kind of uh, based around that strategy. So that's not going to work. But the card itself can give you some uh, swings. Anyway, what do we want? Mass stance? I think we can get some new cards. Stray Slinger? Wait. That's that's literally the, what I got right now. Stray's Bomber plus. Maybe that's good. Rivian Pikeman plus. Give one charge to a cart on the right. Uh, that doesn't seem that good. Get damage unit by two. If it was destroyed, repeat this ability. Yeah, that's pretty optimistic. Against like 10, well, at least 8 power units. What about the Stray's Bomber? Alright, let's do it. We're gonna craft, or at least attempt to craft, some bombers. Where the hell are they? Oh, this is part of the strategy to beat the game as well. Wait. Bombers. Grey Rider. What? After a different allies played from hand or move to the other row, move next to it and boost it by one. Yeah, that's not that good. Not compared to the crazy value generation we have. What? Every turn on turn start, there's a 33% chance of damaging all units in the row by two. Uh, that's not that great, because that means this is a 8 point on play, plus, on average, it's gonna do, okay, let's just say like every three turns, it's gonna hit for two. So, this is like 12 points. This is trash, unfortunately. Holy crap. How are we gonna do this? Do I need to run away like a big, big baby? I don't know. Because it seems like uh, they got my number. And they have a, a deck basically just completely designed on, on countering mine. What a bunch of bastards. I don't know. I gotta think about this. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.